Holy moly, look at the size of that piece of abstract. Wow. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time the Value Village on Fennel in Hamilton, which is up on the so-called mountain. It's the escarpment, really. There's an overview of the store. That's the clothing portion. The other side has the men's, and at the far distance in this side has the hard goods and books. Wow, we're getting a little survey here. These are the coats. Um, no, it's not what I'm looking for this time. Uh, long sleeve knits, sweaters, t-shirts, shorts. There's some that have a Hawaiian shirt kind of feel to them. Uh, I do think I got that pair. It'll be good for just knocking around. Or pool, swimming, whichever. So continue around. Long sleeves, long sleeves. Hmm. Almost feel like I'm being disappointed here. Almost thought it was a candidate, but it's a long sleeve. I think you could use it in the cool weather, I suppose. Uh, those were long sleeves. Here's the short sleeves. And here we're going to find some candidates. Here's one. Uh, there's another one. More of a subdued, small pattern. It looks familiar. Uh, it's almost like the one in my avatar. Jamaica Jow Jacks. So this is from, based on a Jamaica, so it's a Caribbean shirt. It's got a very subtle design on it, kind of cool that way. Well, I did take that one because it goes with some other ones. Now this, I'm going to set the size up there of some sort. So I look down, down at here and what do I find? I find shy, shy in, or she in, she in. Um, in it, it's just instant clothing. Um, I don't think they cost all that much to start with. I'm not sure if ten dollars is a higher than what they originally charged. She in again, the second one. So somebody was trying to buy some stuff online from there. They don't make it until you order it. And then they throw it together and send it out. I've been seeing more and more of those things in the stores as uh, people are just... I can't handle that kind of thing is what they're saying, folks. There was a book section you saw a glimpse of. The furniture is here. The hard goods are over there. And then number of those 
This Judy has seen better days, but for 25 bucks, you're probably not doing too bad. It's a highly adjustable one. So, the glassware. Different aisles, they have a certain amount of, of organization. Folks do move things around, so they can't control that. Toy area. A little statuary. And some bag goods here. some of these stationary goods so this is at the corner of upper Wentworth and Fennel so the doors behind me there are towards Fennel or no upper Wentworth sorry um, very much of a typical kind of selection that you find in a value village a lot of travel bottles now we're to pots and pans other dish kitchenware Small appliances were there, some sporting goods. The cane was 10 bucks, if you happen to notice that there. Not a terrible price. Nothing in it for me at that point. Some electronics section, some lights, light fixtures and lamps. Shades, fabrics and sheets. There's more of the furniture. These are some smaller decorative pieces for furnishings. And some stuffies. Heading through uh, the women's section because I was looking at the artwork on the wall to the right. And you'll see the painting. Print. And here we are coming up to that abstract in the beginning of the video. It's big and I think it was like 80 bucks. Um, might be a good deal, huh? And down at the other side wall of the build of the store is the toys. They've, this is really far more sit a, a better a way of having the toys near the women's clothing. Games, board games, and on to smaller toys, which are right by the the shoes. Purses and bags. Uh, nothing really of interest. There was uh, something that's coming up here. I did take a closer look at, but sure it says gas. Hmm. Some of the other indicators didn't agree with it. It wasn't in the best of conditions. So. And another guess. And the costume jewelry that's hanging 
up. Necklaces, bracelets. And we have the jewelry and the showcases. Clocks and such. And other objects which are of interest to, uh, well, they don't want the parts separated from each other. They're considered slightly higher value. And then they've got other larger items that are of similar kind of thing behind the counter. Like that. All right, well, that's another tour for you to enjoy. I hope you'll consider giving us a thumbs up, a subscription, that you'll subscribe, and possibly even uh, a mark on the bell so that you get notified of the next posted tour. Well, that's it, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.